Welcome to MoreThanTheGames.com's Vancouver 2010 coverage. I'm Samuel Green, and Day 10 has seen America's bad boy Bodie Miller clinch a long overdue Alpine skiing gold medal in the Super G combined. The unpredictable 32-year-old has proven his ability time and time again, but after only posting a 7th place downhill finish, 0.76 seconds behind leader Axel Lund it again appeared as though Miller would fail to deliver what he has so often promised. But his scintillating slalom display meant Miller blitzed his way to the top of the podium with effortless agility, ahead of Croatian silver medalist Ivica Kosilic, while Switzerland's Silvan Zubragon notched bronze. In what was billed as the biggest ice hockey match ever to take place in Canada, Team USA took the bragging rights in a 5-3 win against the host nation. Canada were chasing the game from the moment Rafalski put the USA ahead after only 41 seconds. And after controlling throughout, the Vancouver Canucks' Ryan Kessler put the exclamation mark on an historic victory to advance the US to the quarterfinals, while Canada will need to qualify for the last eight. And in a replay of the 2006 gold medal match, Louis Eriksson struck twice as Sweden once again get the better of Finland and finished top of their group with a 3-0 victory. World champions Oksana Domnina and Maxim Shabalin have dropped to third as host nation hopefuls Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer move into pole position with one stage remaining in the ice dance competition. The Canadian's exquisite Spanish flamingo whipped the hometown crowd into a frenzy and wowed the judges to overtake America's Merrill Davis and Charlie White and the Russian pair going into Monday's free dance. Switzerland's Michael Schmidt raced away to become the first ever Olympic ski cross champion after avoiding any collisions in the only new event of the Games. Canadian crowd favourite Chris Del Bosco crashed out in pursuit of silver medalist Andreas Matt of Austria, and Norway's Arden Gronvald trailed in third. The golden girl of German biathlon Magdalena Neuner sealed her second gold of the Games in the 12.5km mass start after overtaking Russian silver medalist Olga Zaitseva in the final ski. But Russia captured biathlon gold in the men's 15km mass start, when Evgeny Ustoyagov shot clean before pulling away from France's Martin Foucard and Slovakia's Pavel Horash to clinch the victory. The Netherlands' Irene Verst was lightning fast across the ice to hold off strong opposition from Canada's Christina Groves and Czech Martina Sablakova to be crowned 1500m women's speed skating champion. German driver Andre Langer completed stage one of the defense of his two bobsleigh titles, powering to glory with brakeman Kevin Kuska in the two-man bobsleigh event. In curling, Kevin Martin's Canada made it seven wins from seven, downing Switzerland 6-4. But Bingyu Wang's China ended Canada women's 100% record with a 6-5 win after an extra end. Here's all the news from Great Britain's skiers, sliders and skaters in Canada, brought to you in association with Lloyd's TSB, proud partner of the London 2012 Olympic and Paralympic Games and supporter of Team GB on their journey to Vancouver 2010. Sinead and John Kerr performed a sound original ice dance and complete the day in 8th place, while Penny Coombs and Nicholas Buckland continue their Olympic learning curve in 20th position. Ed Drake posted his first top 30 alpine skiing finish of the Games, crossing the line in 29th place in the Super Combined. Eve Muirhead's curlers suffered a 10-6 defeat at the hands of Switzerland to leave them needing to win their last two matches to stand any chance of qualifying for the semi-finals. But David Murdoch's side responded to the loss against Canada with a 4-2 victory over the USA, meaning winning their last two would put them in good stead for a place in the final four. A solitary gold from Bode Miller on day 10 keeps the USA at the top of the medal chart, but 2006 table toppers Germany pick up two titles in bobsleigh and biathlon to go into second place. For the latest news, interviews and behind the scenes gossip from Sportsbeat reporters at Vancouver 2010, visit morethanthegames.com or follow us on Twitter at Sportsbeat.